All right, welcome to Chaos to Clarity. I'm meteorologist Bernie Reno. You can follow me on X. I'm at AccuRaino. Talk about <laughs> chaos. We've got three storms this week. As I talked about on Friday, the early week storm is the one that's going to produce mostly snow um, from New York City toward Washington, D.C. The other storms, two and three, the midweek storm and the late week storm is mostly going to be snow across the Midwest. But this first storm is going to be a snowstorm, I think, for the mid-Atlantic, especially central and northern Virginia. All right, let me show you what's going on here. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, depressed people, I would say, across uh, New York State, including New York City. Oh, New York City, I still think you're going to get some snow, and Philadelphia. But this is mostly going to be a northern and central Virginia storm here. Let's go full. You could uh, see what's going on. All right, so why... Is this not going to be a big storm? Let's say Boston, you're going to get missed. Uh, New York City, Philadelphia, you're on the northern edge. Why? Well, here's your energy, and this is European. You'll see the GFS is similar. Coming out of the west-southwest, but this is the key. Remember, we've been talking about this since the beginning, that if this stayed to the north or flat, this would force this system underneath across the mid-Atlantic, and that's exactly what it's doing. Now, the European is a little stronger with the energy than it was last week, but let's go through it. Here we go as we get into Tuesday, and there it is, Tuesday morning, Tuesday night. You can see it's kind of diffuse. It's just a little bit of energy here, not a lot, nothing consolidated, but you are getting an injection of cold air coming in from this system, and you see this is the system that's driving this to the to the east, not to the north. You see that trough? Watch it come through as we get into Tuesday. You see? That's coming on through. So that's keeping this system through Tuesday to the south. Then it lifts to the north. Your next trough digs south, and that's why the next storm is going to take more of a north northwestern track. But you'll notice GFS European, very similar with this northern piece of energy. There it is. So 1 o'clock Tuesday. GFS European, European GFS, European GFS, European GFS, and then 7 o'clock Tuesday, European GFS, European GFS. Now, GFS a little bulkier with the southern piece of energy, but it goes right across northern Virginia here. So that's why this system is going to be suppressed, and that is why cities like Boston and New York City are on the northern edge. Now, it also means you're getting an injection of cold air, so this is mostly going to be snow for you. The tricky part of this forecast is, is Washington, D.C., I think. How much snow are you going to get with this? Uh, let's show you the surface map here really quick, and uh, then I'll show you the accumulation map. So let's put this on full so you can see it. All right, so let's talk about it. So here comes the storm. There it is. European GFS, European GFS, very similar. That's 1 o'clock Tuesday. Let's go to Wednesday, Tuesday evening. European GFS, European GFS. GFS a little bulkier with the precip, but you can see it's very similar. Very similar. That's Tuesday afternoon. And then Wednesday uh, Wednesday even, uh, Tuesday late night, Wednesday morning, the system's gone. Now, you have additional energy coming in, so it's not just going to end. You'll probably have some light areas of freezing drizzle and sleet behind this storm in northern Virginia. But clearly, Philadelphia and New York City, you're on the northern edge of this. I know that makes a lot of people unhappy in New York City and Philadelphia, but you're just on the northern edge. The place to be is going to be D.C. or more likely between D.C. and Richmond. That's why I do think there's probably going to be a 6 to 10 inch area of snow. To worry about in in that zone. Let me show you the um, let me show you the accumulation map here, so you get a sense of it. Let me let me go full here and um. All right, let me show you the accumulation map here, and then we'll zoom in a little bit here. So there it is, full. Let's go full screen. So there it is. You know, starting out with a couple of inches of snow here across downstate Illinois, Indiana, and then there's your snow. Notice New York City you're on the northern edge of this. Philadelphia, you're on the northern edge of the three to six. I don't think Philadelphia is getting six inches out of this. Uh, I think it's about three, you know, two to four. Northern suburbs will be an inch or two. You got to get right into Philadelphia and right along the Pennsylvania Maryland border, I think, to get the three plus inches of snow. Let me zoom in on a little bit here and we'll go over some of the accumulations here as we move forward. So, 
uh, Washington, D.C., you're in the three to six. Now, listen, I could see a little more in D.C. It's just that every time you try to go more than six inches in Washington, D.C., you get disappointed. Now, I, I think it's an inch or two in, in New York City. Can you sneak out for it? Mm, probably not. I think it's an inch or two. I think Philadelphia sits to two to four or, or right around three inches of snow. I think much of southern tier of Pennsylvania, it's a coating to an inch or two in here. You know, somewhere like that. Um, now, central and southern New Jersey, there is going to be a little push northward. So, uh, three or four inches in central New Jersey. And I, I think much of southern New Jersey is a solid three to six inches of snow. Now, once you get to Cape May uh, and you start getting into southern Delaware and and, uh, and this little area in here from West Virginia and just south of Washington, D.C., you are going to get six to 12 inches of snow in here. I bet you someone ends up with 10, 11 inches of snow out of this. But I like the 6 to 12 in that whole zone just south of Washington, D.C. I think Baltimore, you're solid 3 to 6. You, you might squeeze out 6 out of there. But Philadelphia, I think uh, I think it's a couple of inches. Harrisburg, coating to an inch or two. I think New York City is an inch. And once you get in the coastal parts of Rhode Island, uh, the Cape, southern parts of Rhode Island, Connecticut, it's probably a coating to maybe an inch or two at the most. And there could be coatings up here to Interstate 80 from Harrisburg, I mean, not Harrisburg, State College, um, toward the Allentown area. Maybe Allentown could get an inch of snow, Hazleton area. But that once you get north of Interstate 80, there, there's not going to be a lot of snow here at all. So again, this is mostly going to be Tuesday, Tuesday night. The storm then leaves as we get in the Wednesday. All right, so that's storm Number one, Harrisburg. Did I say coating to an inch or two? I think I did. So that's storm, Pittsburgh coating to an inch. Um, so that's storm number one. Now, let me get to storm uh, number two here. As uh, Let me go back here and go back here. Okay. Let me go to storm number two here. So let's go full on this so you see what we're talking about here. This is a stronger storm. And here you go. This is the end. Let me go full. You don't need to see me. There we go. Okay. So there's the energy back in here. This is going to come around the bend. Here we go. Around the bend. This is tonight. Watch it come around the bend. And there we go. So see, this trough is a lot sharper. And that means the storm's going to take more of a northwestern track in here. All right. That means this is mostly going to be rain for the I-95 corridor. Now, New York City, and you may start off with a little snow and sleet. I don't think you're going to accumulate. This is going to be a real, real tough call for Boston. You miss out on the first one. But this storm, and you can see pretty good agreement on the modeling here. This is European GFS, European GFS, very similar. Uh, Thursday morning, European GFS, European, European a little stronger than the GFS, but nonetheless, you have a pretty strong storm coming northward here. Let's take a look at the uh, surface panel as we go forward here. Um, let's see here. Let's show you the surface panel on this. Now, this is mostly going to be Wednesday, Wednesday night. And here we go. Here we go. Watch this. Let's put this on the full. So here we go. There's your snow area. This is the uh, European Jeff. So your snow area is going to be Kansas. I think Denver's going to get a couple of inches. It's going to be in here. This is going to be well to the north. If you're south of this line, you're not going to get a lot of snow. But you can clearly see. Here's the European. Watch the snow area. I do have a map for you. There it is. You can see it coming northward. Now, there's a little disagreement on the ice. The GFS is a little farther north and west. So that brings the ice, let's say, in the cities like Detroit and Cleveland, where the European probably has ice in 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 um in Cleveland, uh, but not Detroit. I think this is a good this is a pretty good snowstorm for cities like Kansas City, Chicago, northern Indiana, uh, most of central and eastern Michigan, and in the northern New England. Now the ice area, that's gonna be a battle, I think, across New York State and most of southern New England. You're looking at some ice here. I don't think there's no doubt about that with this. But, uh, you know, New York City on south, this is may start as a little sleet or snow, but it goes over to rain as that storm tracks in. You see that? Let me show you the snowfall map here as uh, as we go forward here. So let me, let me go to here. 
Let me go here. So here's our snowfall map with this storm. So again, this is going to be mostly Wednesday, you know, Wednesday, Wednesday night here, and then Wednesday, late Wednesday in the Thursday north and west of Chicago. So, I mean, we have a solid 6 to 12 inches of snow across most of Kansas, toward Kansas City, toward Springfield, uh, toward Peoria. Chicago right now, we're thinking 3 to 6 inches, Chicago toward Detroit. Now, a little worried about Chicago, that this may have to extend like this a little bit here in the word Chicago. And, and listen, if there's no mixing, you may try to get that in Detroit too. So that I, you know, that's a tough call right now. We have three to six in Chicago. I could see more, especially because you're going to get some lake enhancement. So let's keep an eye on that. Chicago, maybe four to eight right now. We have three to six, three to six in, in Detroit. You notice these areas in here is where you have a mixed bag of precipitation, probably starts to snow and goes over to some there's some ice and then maybe rain. Interstate 80 on north is where you're going to get some front-end snow that goes over to ice. This is going to be your ice area in here, including Boston. New York City on south, I think this is mostly going to be rain for you with this storm. And that'll be Wednesday night into Thursday. Now, we're not done. I mean, we have three, as I've been mentioning, we have three storms, uh, three storms uh, this week that we're going to be watching here. Let me let me show you the last storm, and I do have a graphic for it really quick. But let me, yeah, let me do this really quick, and I'll show you this storm. Um, all right, so this is going to be coming into California on Thursday. It's in the Central Pacific right now. Here it is. Watch this storm. Here it comes right into California. Now, this is going to be a big rain producer for California. And then this storm comes across the country. And again, I think this is going to be a, a more of a northwest track in here. Once again, so that means mostly rain from New York City on south. Let me show you the surface map on this, and then we'll get you on your way uh, with this. And, then, and um, here it is. And again, this is going to be Saturday into Sunday. So here it is. Saturday into Sunday. Watch the storm. Here we go. And you could see this European in here. This is the GFS. Now, what you may get with this storm is a lot of these areas in New York State and Pennsylvania, you may start with rain and go over to snow. But I still think the I-95 corridor, this is mostly, mostly going to be, um, mostly going to be snow free, mostly going to be rain for you, okay? Here's the map. And we do have a little bit of snow. You maybe get a little snow in the back end of this storm. As we get toward the weekend, uh, the weekend we'll keep an eye on it. But that's the third storm. Once again, it looks more like the Midwest to me. There is a possibility that you can get rain changing over to a period of snow along the 95 corridor and maybe the storm. This kind of track, though, usually means rain in these areas. So we'll keep an eye on it. But all I can tell you is stay buckled up. I mean, this is a fast and furious weather pattern. And we have another storm middle part of next week called, followed by some Arctic air. So um, I'm going to leave you with uh, this map here. So you get a sense. This is the, this is the mid-Atlantic snow that we've been talking about. I'll leave you that with that. And again, thanks for following me on, on X. And thanks for watching Chaos to Clarity. And um, uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them on X. Here's our snowfall map. And as always, you can always keep up to date with the latest on AccuWeather.com.